Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So it is M1 Robot Update Week. So this week we're working on the arms. And kind of what we're doing is we start with the head and we're just working our way down the body. So we're working on the arms this week and the next will be the torso and then we'll do the legs. So we're kind of building it as we go and letting the design language kind of kind of describe how the robot's going to be built. So it's, it's kind of working out well for us and this week we're doing the arms. So let's take a look at some of the sketches we did, and then we'll call up my buddy Christian and see how the CAD works coming on. Come on, let's do it. So this is a really fun part of just putting pencil to paper and looking at different designs. Maybe something more square, maybe something a little bit more organic, maybe something a little more polished and kind of working through what are some of the ideas that we want and what makes sense. And we're kind of landing in this area. Maybe those little spikes are a little too strong. What if the arm is a little bit more cylindrical? And so we're thinking about if this robot was on a manufacturing floor and it's just kind of a worker bot. And this is kind of cool. And what I'm really enjoying is just like the angle of the head and how it cuts down and across and we're trying to just build those chamfers in so i think this is great let's hop over to christian and see how the cad works coming along hey man how's it going hey dude it's going good good to hear hey, from I you was, i was just uh talking to the audience and just showing them the sketches that we were doing and uh, i know that you've been working on the cad work so i thought it'd be cool to show everybody the cad work and and kind of talk about it so oh yeah yeah let me pull it up here can you see my screen okay? Yep, it's showing up. Oh, that's looking so good, man. Oh, yeah. It's an arm. We're getting there, making some <laughs> progress. Um, there was some challenges, and I'll actually share a bit of that with you. When it comes to arms and working on proportions, we don't have a body to reference yet. So actually, throughout this process, I had a cool little idea, a little trick to import uh, the K2SO model. And the sheet was awesome. It's got a human reference for scale and uh, the robot for scale because we want these to be a little bit bigger and more sizable in this world we're creating and really to uh, get this opportunity to build all these proportions proportions in tandem with uh, something that's already out there and then on top of that uh, there's human proportions we can reference that I was using more importantly the sketches that we initially did we can import them as an underlay, and you can barely even see the sketch because of how exact things were turning out. That's awesome. Um, yeah, but it allows us to trace over, see what's working, and then maybe what's not working to do some edits on this. Oh, that's looking great. I'm loving that. You got a little elbow joint going there? Little elbow joint. We're really thinking about what does articulation mean, not only uh, to show for our figure here, just to have, but also... How are we interacting with this? What poses would we like to give and these opportunities we have? And uh, from a manufacturing point of view in the world this lives in, how would they make this? How would this operate in real life in how it lives? And I love how we were talking about um, more of like a mechanical claw because this is a mechanic droid. And so I love those little clamp hands. Those are really cool. Are those gonna potentially move? Potentially. So we have the little pivot in here to okay. open and close it. Maybe there's an accessory put in there. Um, all these little opportunities. And like yeah. you said, what is the language that we're building in here? This is a mechanical droid. So we have these chamfered features that carry from the head to the shoulders, the little joints and details. Really, we're writing a language for how this mechanical bot lives and feels so it's consistent across the entire body that we're developing right now that's cool I, I love how we're building this thing it's like we started with the head and then we're designing the arm and we're moving to the torso next and the legs it's almost uh designing itself just through the design language so i'm, I'm pretty excited about this it's looking cool well uh i guess the next steps we'll uh get together and start sketching some torsos and see how how that starts turning out so <laughs> I love it, man. Well, great work, and I'll catch up with you later this week. Yeah, sounds good. Looking forward to it. All right. Take it easy, Christian. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, later.
Okay, that was a really cool update. I'm, it's super fun to see it come to life, like from pencil and paper to the computer and built out in CAD. And uh, I'm, I'm just really excited to see how the design language is kind of all tying in. So it'll be fun to see how the chest and the legs all come together. And we're gonna be 3D printing that arm uh, a little bit later this week. And so check out our 1M robots on Instagram and we'll show some pictures of the 3D printouts on that. So uh, next week for my Dr. Toys, I'm uh, doing a custom build for a buddy of mine. It's, a, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's a little bit out of the ordinary for me, so stay tuned for that. And until two weeks from now, we'll do another 1M Robots update and we'll see what happens from there. So as always, it's a great day to be Toy Nerd. Have a great one. The Claw.